We learned today conversations of then President elect Trump and members of its transition team may have been intercepted by U.S. intelligence agencies. Reporter Craig Boswell on the revelation and what it means. Good afternoon, everyone. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes says U.S. intelligence agencies collected incidental information on President Trump and his team. It looks to me like it was all legally collected, uh, but it was essentially a lot of information uh, on the president elect and his transition team and what they were doing. Nunes briefed the White House, but still hasn't shared the information with his intelligence committee, which is investigating Russian interference in the presidential election. These actions simply uh, raise enormous doubt about whether the committee can do its work. Uh, and I think that uh, um, more than anything else I've seen, uh, this makes the most profound case for the formation of an independent commission. Chairman Nunes says he believes the intelligence was not collected as part of an FBI investigation into Trump campaign connections with Russia, an investigation that took a turn Wednesday. A new Associated Press report says former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort made millions of dollars working for Russian billionaire Oleg Deripaska from 2006 until 2009. Deripaska is a close associate of Russian President Vladimir Putin. According to the AP, Manafort wrote a strategy plan for Deripaska in 2005 where he said that he would influence politics, business dealings, and news coverage inside the United States, Europe, and the former Soviet republics to benefit the Putin government. Manafort confirms he worked for the Russian oligarch but called it a smear campaign. In a statement, he said, my work for Mr. Deripaska did not involve representing Russia's political interests. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Capitol Hill.